Alrighty, everybody, thank you again for joining me this week. We're going to be continuing on with PSO. Okay, story the simple of East Ariana. So this is where you've been, Florent. Uh, ah, a ghost! It's after me! Please, miss, do something! Do something? That's a very broad request. Um, are you an acquaintance of Florence, perhaps? <laughs> Pardon my intrusion. I am Clarissa, guard of the first successor to Ease Ardia. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Queen Harriet of Quinto, and yours, Guardian. Hmm? I fear you are mistaken. I go by no name but Clarissa Maintainer. How is it that you know our faces, Clarissa? Wait, the guard of the first successor, you said? Come on, I'm not succeeding anything. Yes. Indeed. And of course, it follows that what I am about to do is quite proper. Uh, ow! What were you thinking, gallivanting off without a chaperone? Do you think yourself worth so little attention? But I just had to see this place. It's one of the most famous sites in Quento. And you'd never let me go if I asked anyway. What was I supposed to do? Is that your best excuse? I'm sorry. Very good then. Your Majesty Harriet, Guardian, thank you for keeping young Florent safe. I beg your pardon, but I must repay your kindness another day. Now, back we go, Florent. You must make ready for the ceremony. No. What? I don't wanna! I won't be able to play anymore after that stupid ceremony. I wanna stay free! Yeah, I guess so. Don't be selfish. You made a promise, and now you must keep it. Yeah, I know, but if this is my last chance, can't I play a little longer? I'm sensing a lot of tension here. What exactly is Florent going to have to do? Nothing dangerous, I promise. Florent is due to become the formal symbol of our country. In Ease Artia, the flow of trade is our lifeblood. A fool may earn money, but it takes a wise man to keep it. Therefore, our symbol must be upright and clean, free from greed, with no ties to others, praying only for the prosperity of our people. Yes. Uh. After the purification ceremony, Florent will become our beloved symbol of gain and profit. That all sounds nice on paper, but what about the part where Florent loses his freedom? Yeah, see? I'll never be able to play with my friends again. Which is why you were given free reign to spend your days without care until then. You can go through with this, Florent. Please respect our affairs, Your Majesty of Quinto. Florent, please. I want to know what you think. I wish I could play a little longer. But it's all right. 
It's time for me to become the symbol of Ease Artia. I'm bound to become one with the state. That's been set in stone for a long time. Since the day I was born, even. And what? Lots of people are gonna be able to enjoy their lives more and be happier. As long as I can give them a little happiness, mixed in with a touch of fun now and then. Maybe people won't cry anymore. Maybe we can avoid conflict. So that's the choice you're making? That's the path you're prepared to take? Yeah. Miss Harriet? Guardian? Fairy Lady? Thanks so much for playing with me today. Guardian, Sierra, thank you very much for humoring me throughout the day. I'm better now. I can't let a child outdo me in backbone. I'm ready to return to the capital straight away. <laughs> It's time to get back to rooting out Ephemera, the spark that ignites wars, so we can bring peace to the world. And if we can make Florence smile, all the better. Take that ticket, thank you very much. Divine Lamb. No, it's terrible. Take a practice. It is here where our stage shifts westward of Cuento, to the divine land of Epic. It is a harsh desert land, with a massive oasis nestled in its center, built upon absolute faith in one true deity. Here, the divine queen Margareta heard reports of the strife in Cuento and its aftermath. Yet these words fell on indifferent ears. Which brings us to the present, Your Holiness. Cuento will likely only grow in prestige. Yes, yes, understand. Maria. Basically, Cuento conquered Wayland and squashed its own civil war. Right? An apt summation. Truly, your holiness is blessed with divine acuity. If I may humbly elaborate, the crown of Cuento has written other leaders, seeking their signatures in packs to destroy the ephemera. Who, ephemera? Oh, yes, those eerie weeds. Why should I concern myself with them? Aww, I'm rather sick of all this. What ails your holiness, exactly? Look at Cuento hogging all the glory just because they're so ancient! They get a sword maiden and a guardian, but what do we get? I mean, would it kill them to share some of that with us? Look at us! Nothing but desert for miles! Might as well call us the Divine Sand! And whenever <laughs> anything happens, it's always our god who swoops in and solves everything! No credit to the Queen! I think we need a little drama. Just picture it. The Guardian and the Divine Queen saving Epic from the throes of crisis. Pure inspiration. <laughs> Just so. If it pleases your holiness, might it offer to attempt conjuring that very Guardian? Conjure the Guardian? Can we do that? 
Word has it that the guardian of Kuento is a visitor what? from a world beyond our own. A might such as that of your holiness, Lady Margareta, would more than suffice to summon such a being. Hmm. Well, consider my interest piqued. I like the way your mind works, priest. I knew kicking that old boar out and bringing you in was the right idea. Would that I were worthy of such praise, your holiness. I will see to the preparations right away. That's her. to the records. And she looked exactly like Xion? Maybe that person was the first photoner that came into direct contact with Xion. Without any records, we can't say for sure. But under the circumstances, that seems like a safe assumption. Especially since she went by the name Clarissa. Hey, second, have you ever heard Clarissa's voice? Well, only faintly, but I think Xion's voice was what I heard. Hmm. She had Xion's voice back in my day, too. She did call herself Clarissa, but I just couldn't sense any aura but Xion's. Then again, Clarissa the White clearly wasn't like other cosmogenic arms. Do we have any records concerning that? All scrubbed away by Xion. Which I guess means she either thought we wouldn't be able to track anything down, or that we didn't need to. But getting back to the matter at hand, since things have calmed down on Omega, we should start planning our next move there. It looks like we've got two more countries where things need taken care of. Ease Artia and Epic. They seem like they'll be more inclined toward having a dialogue than Wayland. Hopefully we can settle things without going... Let's hope Harry has a knack for diplomacy. But as long as nothing big is going on, I guess our Guardian has a little downtime. Mate, listen up! We've got trouble! Use has been snatched! Well, scratch that about calm. What do you mean she was snatched off and what happened? I barely get it myself. We were just standing around talking. Okay. Hadn't appeared under her feet, and she just... Aura's clean vanished, too. We'll get searching right away. You start combing the ship often, and get in touch the moment anything turns up. Uh, roger that. Now, how could Euclita and Aurora disappear so suddenly like that? And why? Merchant report incoming, Xiao. Brigida? Why is an operator calling me directly? It's about an unfolding situation. We suddenly lost contact with Ika from the intelligence. Meaning what exactly? I was acting as her navigator when the signal suddenly cut. However, there's no indication of any anomaly from her logs or our... Understood. We'll focus on finding her. Please let the intelligence bureau know. Yes, they're trying to summon us, the Guardian, and grabbing these random ass people instead. If anything else like this happens, report it directly to me. Roger. I... I hope I... I'm sure she will be. She's strong enough to have returned from a Dark Falls possession. First Euclida, and now Aika? Hey, I finally got through. Uh... Not a damn thing, unfortunately. But it looks like you are... I just got word that we've lost contact with one of our Ether users here. An Ether user? Is it Hitsugi? Cory? No one you've met, Sierra. Her name's Rina Izumi. Uh, you know anything about it, do you? Rina Izumi? Kasra had a report about her. Didn't she become a vessel on Earth for Apprentice? I'm sorry, Enda, but we haven't seen any sign of her. We'll start looking right away. Where are you there? So that brings the tally of the missing to four. Euclita, Aurora, Aika, and this Earthling, Rina Izumi. Are you seeing the pattern here? Exactly. All of Apprentice's former hosts have suddenly gone missing. But there's been no sign of activity on Lilipa. The Apprentice we know seems to be under control. Which means... 
Things might not be so quiet on Omega after all. I think this is the first time events on Omega have interfered so directly with this world. Guardian, Sierra, keep your wits about you down there. Divine drop. Otherworldly visitors like the Guardian? No, I've heard nothing of the so I can only say with confidence that I've heard no such reports from within our borders, Your Highness. Interesting. Well, this demands our attention. Send word to make doubly sure. B beg pardon, Your Highness. Soldier, where's your sense of decorum? Uh, apologies, Lord Veruna, but it's urgent. You ought to see... Move your rusty armor aside, fool! I'll do the talking here! Who... who dares? If you knew, boy, you'd shut your mouth before you say something you'll regret! You must be Harriet, the Ice Queen of Coento. <laughs> here I was, nervous to meet you. But you're just a regular girl, aren't you? And you! You must be this guardian people can't stop yapping about. <laughs> I demand to know how you plan to fix the mess you've made. Yeah, man, he's here. What? <laughs> Please, let's just all take a deep breath and calm down. Me? May... <sighs> what a gallery of ignoramuses! Well, scrape the wax from your foolish ears and listen up. You stand in the presence of Margareta, the one and only divine queen of epic. You're... the Divine Queen Margareta? So, basically the biggest authority in all of... <laughs> now you understand. Very good. I'll just bask in your reverence. But why would such a revered figure come all the way to the capital of Quento without a single escort? <laughs> well, you see... It's all your guardian's fault! Every last bit of it! So much. Well, essentially, it's not fair! Why does Quento get a sword maiden and a guardian? Why can't Epic have a guardian? So all we did was try and conjure up a guardian of our own, and then we snared four people from another world, like you, Guardian. But they were a bit scary, and I may have... No, that was your fault. Lost control? What in the world happened that someone could seize control of your land? Look, I'm as shocked as you are. More, probably. It was all I could do to evacuate the people to safety. Before I knew it, they were scattered, and we'd been overtaken. I had to flee. Wait. You Quento folk invented conjuration in the first place, didn't you? I'd love to hear how you plan to take responsibility. I didn't do nothing. On your fault. I beg your pardon, Lady Margareta. But I need to know. Did you use ephemera at any point? Ephemera? Those off-putting weeds? What would I sully my fingers with them for? Though, I suppose those terrors we conjured may have used them. Wait, that's right! People from Cuento are out to wipe it. When my country gets back to normal, I'll sign your ephemera. I'm not entirely sure I gather what you're asking. Uh, someone just do something! Anything! What shall we do, Your Highness? <clears throat> I suppose if Ephemera are involved, we must give this our full attention. Not to mention the fact that the Queen's state is... Yes, Your Highness. Guardian, Sierra, I'll go and see what's happening in Epic for myself. Of course we will. It seems like this involves us too, after all. With Divine Queen Margareta leading the way, the Guardian and Harriet set off for the western land of Epic. Nowhere in the border fortress, nor in any villages, where they met with citizens of Epic. 
I found only signs of a hasty evacuation. Though the people's swift flight spared them from any great harm, Margareta lamented the cruel reality that had forced them to abandon their homes. If they could strike the root of the problem, they could eliminate it once and for all, she reasoned. They ventured on until beyond another silent village, they found the desolate expanse of the desert. The Guardian and their party pushed ahead with their advance, seeking the four mysterious fiends who had usurped Epic from its queen. how such a thing would be able to go. So this is the desert of Epic. It's bleak, isn't it? Epic began as a realm where the devout gathered. Perhaps the land's unforgiving nature is precisely why. Exactly. Our ancestors settled here to form a place for strict religious practice. And as people gathered, towns formed, then a country. Behold the divine land of Epic, the realm at the edge of grace. And who should sit at its peak but I, the divine queen Margareta. Somehow I get the feeling you and Grace aren't too well acquainted. Burn. Fairy! I see no sign of any costume demonica. Why would we need those big, dangerous things anywhere but the border? No one would try to invade us anyway. And besides, We'd just be wasting the thin little strip of precious, useful land we've already... Only an absolute nincompoop or a country as rich in mana and resources as Guento would go around conjuring those things willy-nilly. Interesting choice of words. Is Guento truly rich, I wonder? True. Our land has blessed us with abundant resources and mana. But surely the people's hearts need more than that. Ha! You naive little thing. If a queen cannot be proud, who will? Do you enjoy demoralizing your own people? Take a look around. Do you think I don't know what a dry, barren, poor land epic really is? You're rich only in sand and woe. But that's why I give the people something to aspire to. I conduct myself with pride and beauty. If they think, how I long to be like her, then my duty is done. Nothing drives a person like yearning for more. Does no one resent you for it? You simpleton. Who can be queen if they spend their time afraid of stirring jealousy? Well, I'll admit, I do get frightened by the idea. But it's out of my control, so I can't waste my time worrying about it. I am queen, and the pride of my people. That much is set in stone. What good Arrogant. is to worry about what every last little one of my subjects thinks? I guess only someone this arrogant could go and conjure four entire people to wreck their country. <laughs> show her pride who can you there wouldn't you agree Pick? what's that lady margareta thank you but what was that where did it come from i don't know it looked It's a cast 
from Demonica, and supernaturals are popping up along with it. How could it spring up with no conjurers around? Again. That'll work.
scratch, just a little more. And was a person. And down. Climb up. Let's destroy this Ganon's Castle wannabe. Or give it a day or two and it'll blow. Um, Maggie? Excuse me? Maggie? You will address the Divine Queen of Epic by her full name! Now, what do you want? You're sure that Castrum Demonica wasn't already set up here? Of course not. Like I said, we only have those things on the border. We can't afford to have them taking up our land. So that would mean it was just conjured on the spot, right? You Cuento folk ought to know more about it than me. Just whipping up one without a conjurer around hardly seems like fair play. Indeed. We have no such technique in Cuento either. Moreover, that castrum just now was... odd. Didn't seem conjured. It was suddenly just... there. And it didn't give off any signal at all. Conjuration gives off different readings. So it wasn't conjured, and it wasn't set up in advance. Then just how did it appear here? Oh, enough! However this happened, those four villains are obviously at fault! How dare they treat my realm like some plaything! If you want a problem gone, you take it out by the roots. Don't you agree, Queen of Cuento? It's time to reclaim my land! Quickly! Right! That's some high and mighty talk for someone who's been standing around doing nothing. <laughs> if Never. the queen doesn't have license to act high and mighty, who does? Acting high and mighty is the most important job of a monarch. Remember that, Queen of Cuento. Yes, I'll remember. I'm gonna be really disappointed if Harriet comes out of this acting like Maggie. That is gonna be it for sleep. I thank you for joining.